Hey everyone, this is Jeremy, and today I'm talking about five pieces of backpacking gear that I wish I had bought sooner, and one piece of gear that I wish I didn't buy at all. And I'm starting right now. It's pretty common to start using a new piece of gear and think to yourself, what took me so long to buy this? Why didn't I buy it sooner? Well, today I'm going to talk about five pieces of gear that I wish I had added to my gear kit way sooner. And stick around to the end where I talk about the one item that I did buy that I kind of wish I didn't. Coming in at number five, my Nemo Tensor insulated sleeping pad. Now believe it or not, but this pad actually added three ounces to my base weight and man, are they worth it. This thing packs down small. It inflates easily with an included inflation sack that I've never used before this pad. And I gotta say, it's a game changer for me. Now as an active sleeper, I roll around on this a lot and I seldom bottom out, which is pretty impressive in and of itself. I can honestly say, this is the most comfortable sleeping pad I have ever owned, bar none. Next up is the Katadyne B-Free water filter. Now weighing in at four ounces, including a three liter bladder, this is by far the lightest filter system I've ever owned. This thing is super easy to use. There's no moving parts. You simply fill the bladder, screw on the filter, point and squeeze. It's that simple. Or if you're in a pinch, you can drink right from the filter itself. No problems. Another thing I love about the Be Free, it's super easy to clean. Stick it in some water, you shake it around, and that's it. There's no back flushing required. No other equipment that you need to bring, nothing that you really need to maintain. Super, super simple. Now this 0.1 micron micro filter is awesome at removing all sorts of nasty stuff from water, including bacteria and protozoa. Now the Catadyne Be Free is not as lightweight as Aquamira drops, but it is much, much more convenient. And I'm looking forward to getting a lot more use out of this. Now coming in at number three is my BRS 3000T titanium canister stove. Weighing in at less than an ounce, this thing is crazy light. In fact, it's as light or lighter than any alcohol stove that I've either made, purchased, or used in the past which is insane. It folds up nice and compact. It's small enough to nest inside my cook kit, which should actually probably be on this list too. And speaking of my cook kit, if you're interested in building your own cook kit that weighs less than a pound, including a full can of fuel and costs less than $85, then you might wanna watch this video here. So far, I've had great success with the BRS in temps down to 20 degrees Fahrenheit. And I can't wait to see how well this little stove performs for me for the rest of the year. And coming in at number two, my UGQ Bandit plus 10 degree top quilt. Man, I love this thing. Now this quilt is about a half pound lighter than my previous mummy bag, and it's also a lot warmer. You know, this is truly one of those items that I asked myself, why did I wait so long to pull the trigger on getting a quilt? Now I'm a very active sleeper and I've always found mummy bags to be restrictive and claustrophobic. And the UGQ Bandit Top Quilt fixes all of that for me and allows me to get awesome sleep at night. After a few winter outings with my UGQ Bandit, I can honestly say the cost and weight savings are just icing on the cake of much better sleep in the back country. Now, a quilt is not the right solution for everyone. I totally understand that. For me, it absolutely was. If you wanna find out if a quilt is right for you, you might consider watching this video up here where I break down why I switched from a mummy bag to a quilt. I'll also leave a link in the description below. And before we move on to number one, if you're getting value out of this video, do me a huge favor and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below telling me the number one piece of gear that has been an absolute game changer to your backcountry adventures. And at number one, 
the Mountain Laurel Designs Duo Mid. At two pounds, one ounces, the Duo Mid is a full pound and a half lighter than my previous solo tent setup. It can be pitched in under two minutes with a minimum of four stakes and one trekking pole. This whole system is completely modular. It could be used as a minimalist shelter with just a ground sheet or when protection from insects is an absolute must or I just want the benefits of a double wall shelter, I can simply add an inner mesh enclosure. The best part is I can comfortably sleep, sit, and dress without touching the peak or rubbing against the side and there's more than enough room for all the gear that I could possibly want to bring on an outdoor adventure. On my last outing, I had it pitched low to the ground on the snow with moderate wind gusts and an overnight low of 18 degrees Fahrenheit. Condensation was manageable even in that low circulation environment. I was absolutely impressed. The Mountain Laurel Designs Duo Mid is easily one of the lightest, most versatile shelter systems that I've ever owned. And I can't wait to get a lot of use out of this shelter system this year. And now for the piece of gear that I kind of wish I hadn't bought. This may surprise some of you, but it's actually the Sawyer Squeeze. I'm not saying that the Sawyer Squeeze is a, is a bad purchase or a bad filter or, or anything like that. It's, it's just not right for me at this time. For my use cases, the Catadyne Bee Free is just the better filter in my opinion. Now I'm in the process of creating a much more in-depth comparison between the Sawyer Squeeze and the Catadyne Bee Free. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and click that bell notification so you'll get notified as soon as that video drops. Now in the meantime, you may want to check out this comparison here. Otherwise, check out this playlist here for more awesome backpacking videos. As always, thanks for watching and until next time, John 317.